guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Melody. E -e -e, and I am back with another lit video for you guys. If you guys are new, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on today's video. And please turn on your post notifications so you guys will get notified whenever I upload a video. So, as you guys can see, or as you guys read by the title, I am going to be doing, I'm going to be answering you guys' questions that you have for me. So, I always told you guys, and if you guys are new, I'm going to explain to you guys. But normally, sometimes, I do ask you guys questions, and you guys, well, not, I don't even ask you guys questions, but um, I have you guys ask me questions to anything that you guys want me to answer. So, it's basically like an update to see how am I doing, um, how was everything doing, you know, stuff like that. So, I did have you guys ask me questions on Instagram. So, once again, if you guys don't have me on Instagram, please add me on Instagram, guys, because I am most active on Instagram. So, I need all of you guys to right now go to Instagram and please type in Melody Chili's because, listen, everything is on Instagram. That's why I ask the craziest thing. So, you guys really need to go and add me because what are you doing if you didn't add me? So, I did ask you guys to ask me any questions as far as how am I doing, how is everything going, you know, just anything I would answer for you guys. So a lot of them mainly was like about my future and most of them was also about like other things. So I'm gonna answer all of them. So let's get into it. I am gonna read it on my iPad because my phone died. This is kinda ghetto because I don't normally do things on my iPad, but I guess I'm gonna have to do it today. So the first question is, when are you going to start doing giveaways? So guys, I'm so glad that you guys asked that because me, I was just thinking about that in my head. So I am gonna start doing giveaways. So basically, I'm trying to wait until I reach 4,000 watch time for YouTube and 1,000 subscribers, which is basically what I need to become monetized. I'm not monetized yet, but I do need these things in order to get monetized. So once I get monetized, I can give you guys and do giveaways like I can do a lot of giveaways and everything but I just have to wait because I have to wait until I get monetized and so I do certain things for you guys so it is coming I just please be patient with me like I do have a lot of things going on and I'm waiting and like I told you guys in my last video things happen for a reason I'm not rushing I'm taking my time God don't want me to have certain things now so just give it time now and I will get it done but yes I will be doing giveaways as soon as I monetize the next question is how has it been since you've been in your new house? I love this new house, y'all. Like, it's so much to do in this house. Like, I just love it. It's so... This house is based off of a open concept so we so glad that we have a house that's full of open concept as you guys see my room and if you guys didn't see my unfinished house so i'll make sure i link that in, in my description box you guys need to go watch that so you guys can see my house because let me tell you i love my house but basically how am i enjoying it? i love it you guys like i could sleep better i can eat better the air is fresh everything i just feel like this house it's just so perfect like where where was this house at all of our lives like if i compare the old house to the new house i want to say that this house is way better way better i love this house i'm enjoying this house i feel like i'm gonna strive a lot in this house i feel like my daughter's gonna strive a lot in this house as well and it's so much good going for everybody here like ever since everybody moved here um, a lot of good things have been happening, especially good things been happening to me. So I am I'm enjoying this house. I feel like God blessed us with this house for a reason. Like I always say, I do believe in karma and I do believe in so much things, but I feel like God do things for a reason. So I feel blessed in this house. I feel like home. I really feel like home in this house. Like I love it and I wish that I could have had this house when I was younger. But you know, once again, God do things for a reason. So I love it. <laughs> next question this is something that everybody has been asking me so when are you going to start doing pranks we are ready <laughs> guys i'm ready too like i'm ready too but i can say i have a prank coming real 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 soon you guys like i'm talking about real soon like i'm talking about it's at the tip like so i i do have a prank coming real 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 soon for you guys i don't know but i do have a prank coming for you guys and you guys i just hope that you guys are ready for it i told y'all and i promise y'all once i move my pranks it's going to be done i just had to get settled in my house first and i had to get a few things done but it's coming real soon i promise you that guys what do you do on your free time 
I really want to say on my free time, I vlog for you guys. I listen to music, I play games, I clean. I don't really have a life when she's not here. I mainly have a life when she is here. <laughs> I think a lot of parents can relate to that, but I really don't have a life when she's not here. Mainly when she's here, I, I have a life. So when she's not here, basically nothing. The next question is, what are you doing for your birthday next year? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not doing nothing for my birthday. Um, I haven't done nothing for my birthday since I was, I wanna say, 19, turning 20. So I really didn't, never really did nothing for my birthday. Um, so it's gonna be three years and I didn't do nothing for my birthday. So most likely I might not do nothing for my birthday. Um, last year my parents seen that I wasn't, you know, doing nothing for my birthday. And they did, um, invited me out to New York to their house to get my nails and, you know, to spend time with them. And they did cook for me. That's basically it. Yeah, so basically, um, next year, I'm not really doing nothing for my birthday. There's not really nothing that I, it's, it's a lot that I want to do, but I feel like that, I don't know, like, I feel like if I do have things to do, I might be like, I'm not gonna have a lot of people to do it with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I live all the way in Jersey, so I'm not really gonna have a lot of people to do it with me. And you know, I just want somebody to like plan my birthday for me. Like, I really want somebody to plan my birthday for me. Like, I never really had nobody to do that, so I'm patiently waiting. But if not, um, and I'm probably imagine getting my hair done, nails done, my hair done, um, my hair nails. I guess go shopping, I guess. That's the only thing I really could do. But do I have anything to plan? No. But I do want to go on a cruise for my birthday. That's my um goal. I don't really have nothing planned for my birthday next year. So I have a lot of plans for Melanie's birthday. But I really don't have nothing planned for my birthday. So if you guys want to plan something for me to go ahead. When are you planning on having another baby? Oof. I don't know what to say, but if God bless me with one, then that's fine. But honestly, I really don't want no more kids. Like, I'm fine with Melanie. Like, Melanie serves my needs, serves my purpose. You get what I'm saying? But I do want to give her a sibling. Like, I want to give her a brother or a sister because she looks so lonely, you guys. Like, she looks so lonely, but I feel like mentally I'm not ready to have another one. Emotionally. And physically, I'm not ready to have another kid yet, so I feel like it's not time. But when it is time for me to have another kid, I promise, I promise, I promise. I will let you guys know. Yeah, I'm not really ready for another one. I feel like my first pregnancy was enough. I feel like I did enough during my first pregnancy. I don't know. I don't feel like mentally, physically, or emotionally, I'm not ready for another kid yet. Don't get me wrong, I love Melanie to the fullest, but I feel like I need to focus on myself and I need to focus on her. Am I ever gonna have another kid? Yeah, but not right now. Where are you from? I am from New York City. I'm from New York City. Um, I just wanna say, y'all may think that, oh, she from New York, she don't act like it, or she don't look like it, y'all. I am from New York. Like, I'm not even trying to say that because I, I wanna be from there, but I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. So I am from New York right now. I do live in New Jersey. I live here for three years now. The next question is, what's the stupidest thing you thought as a kid? Um, I really want to say, and I hope you guys don't laugh at me for this because I really, really, really thought this growing up. So nobody please don't come at me crazy. But the stupidest thing I thought as a kid was, as a kid, um, I used to live like a couple of blocks from a train or whatever. And before I started taking trains, I used to see them. I really used to see the trains. So one day I was looking at my window and I seen the train coming, you know, coming, and then it disappeared behind the buildings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and ever since then, I didn't see them. So I always thought that like the trains, trains run on top of buildings and sometimes go through the buildings. Like, what was I thinking? Why would I even think something like that? Yeah, I don't know why, but that's what I thought as a kid. And I know you guys are like, what? Yes, that's what Melody thought as a kid. I don't know, like, and then the crazy part was like when um, my parents actually took me on a train, I'm like, oh wait, we're not on top of the buildings or in the buildings. We know we're near the buildings. Like it's, it was crazy, but that's what my, well, that's what I thought as a kid. Like, that was the craziest thing I thought as a kid. What's the worst pickup line you ever heard? Yeah, I wanna say the worst pickup line that I have ever heard, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it wasn't, it was bad, but it was funny because it was mad corny. One day, I was walking home, you know, I was going home or whatever, and I seen a whole group of boys or whatever, and you know, us girls, we hate being by ourselves. 
and we were walking past or we were walking through a whole group of boys. I was walking and I walked through the whole group of boys and everything. And um, one of them was like, hey, excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, nah, I got a boyfriend. He was like, oh, um, I wasn't trying to be a boyfriend. I was trying to be a side nigga. Hold on, sir, what? I'm like, hold on, like, this, did, did, did this dude just say he wanted my side nigga? So I guess like he thought that like, it would've turned me on or like it would've made him look cute, y'all, but he really turned me off. Like he really like, first of all, I don't want you to be my side nigga. I want you to be my main nigga. I want you to be my man. I want to come home to you every day. I want you to come home to me every day. I want to cook for you. I want to clean for you. I want to be uh, basically a wife to you. So um, he turned me off with that. So when he said that, y'all, I didn't even want no problem because once again, I am by myself and it was a whole group of boys. So I literally just left him alone and was like, you know what? I was turned off. I really felt like, you know, like that's what you guys think of me as y'all yeah, must, you know, like I would, I was just turned off completely by you guys. Uh, it was to the point that like I didn't even want to walk home no more. I called the guy, like, but that was the worst pickup line ever. It made me feel so uncomfortable. It made me feel like a less of a woman. And I'm gonna be damned if I'm gonna be less of a woman for a man and what he said. No. So the last question is. How are you mentally and emotionally? This is a very good question. And I wanna say that like, I'm about to give you guys a heart to heart. So if you guys don't wanna watch it right now, you guys can exit the video and stuff like that. But how am I mentally? I feel like mentally I'm drained. I feel like mentally I'm there, but I'm not there. Emotionally, I am dark. Um, but once again, I'm still gonna push with a smile. I'm still gonna push with um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to push because once again, I'm a female, you know, like I'm a female and I don't want, I don't want you guys to always see me like this, but everybody knows behind the smell is a lot of pain. Like, so I go through a lot of pain. I'm normal, I'm human. So I do go through a lot of pain, but yeah, I'm emotionally drained. I feel like I'm just emotionally drained from like everything from being a parent, life, <laughs> from just life like i really want to say just life like it's not even too much of being a parent because i love being a parent like as much as it drains me at like like at the end of the day i want to do it again every day like i enjoy i enjoy it but i just feel like life like life is draining me right now um is it hit me hard no but it hit, it hit me hard in the beginning i want to say in the beginning or the middle of this year was when life really 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 hit me hard um so emotionally i'm okay physically i'm great <laughs> physically emotionally everything I, I don't know i just feel like that i'm not 100 percent there as i should be so um i'm not 100 percent there yet uh, i'm trying to get there but once again y'all it's a process i feel like as a female like me it's a process y'all like and it's hard when you get your emotions and you're building it back yourself or you're doing your like you're tolerating yourself you're building your emotions back by yourself you're going through your own stuff by yourself so it's 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 hard and it's emotionally and i wake up every day with a smile um i wake up every day not you know putting my burdens on nobody i just be calm and just do what i gotta do and it's making me a stronger person. It's making me more understanding. It's making me realize, like, um, it's making me realize so much stuff that like, I don't know, y'all. I, I, like, once again, I'm still learning myself as a person. Like, I'm still learning life. I'm still learning a lot of things. So, life is crazy. Life is hard. And it's hitting me hard, y'all. And just like my last video, I feel like things are happening for a reason in life. And I'm going to get there. I'm going to reach there. And I just hope that this little phase that I'm going through the past, I feel like that um, I want to be greater than what, I want to be greater next year than what I was this year. So just everybody just pray for me because you know, Melody is okay. Melody is always good. I want to thank for whoever asked me that question because not a lot of people ask me that. Not a lot of people like to check up on me. Not a lot of people like ask how I am emotionally like nobody really asks me that so whoever sent me that question comment down below and DM me on Instagram because I'm so glad that like somebody actually 
ask me a question like that because nobody have ever asked me a question like that since I gave birth to my daughter. This is going to be the end of this video. This video was supposed to be uh, questions on getting to know me and me updating you guys on what's going on with my life and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on today's video. And please turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified whenever I upload a video. I love you guys so much and you guys have a wonderful day.